Hello guys, you're welcome to Ucomputing's YouTube channel. My name is Eugene and in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can create multiple remote desktop connections to one server. Okay, I know already most of you are familiar with remote desktop connection, but normally we perform remote desktop from one client to another client or from one client to a server, right? One-on-one -on -one connection. So what happens normally when you attempt connecting two client or more to a single system is that let's say this client over here on my screen tries to connect to this server over here through mode desktop it's going to work but the moment you try connecting a second machine to the same system then you're going to get a notification to disconnect this one over here so in this video i'm going to show you how you can perform multiple mode desktop connections to one server or one system okay so that, for instance, if let's say you have some business application that you are using, and maybe the licensing fee is very expensive, so you cannot buy for a lot of systems, you can just put that particular software on one server over here, and then through mode desktop, you can let multiple clients access the software from wherever they are. All right. Okay, so let's have a look at the prerequisite for doing this particular demo. Right? You need a Windows Server operating system. You can use any Windows Server operating system, starting from the Windows Server 208 to the latest version of Microsoft Windows Server Operating System, which is Windows Server 2022. Right now, you can also use a client operating system from Microsoft Windows, either a Windows 7 client, Windows 8, up to the Windows 11 operating system, any one works. But in this demo, I'm going to use Windows Server 2022 and then Windows 7 operating system. So let's begin with that. All right, so as you can see, I have two Windows 11 operating systems and then a Windows Server 2022 operating system on my network. All right. Now, this server over here is having an IP address of 10.0.0.1, whereas this client over here has 10.0.0.3. So we are all on the same network. I've intentionally turned off this Windows 11 operating system because of uh, computing power. Later on, I'm going to power it up and then use it to um, do a demo. All right, so let's begin by turning on remote desktop connection for this server over here. We're going to perform the remote desktop connection from this Windows 11 operating system to our Windows Server 2022 machine and then perform another remote desktop connection from the Windows 11 over here to this one simultaneously. So we're going to connect two remote desktop sessions to one server, right? So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to start with the basic remote desktop configuration. Okay, so I'm going to begin by clicking on start here and then going through the settings option. This procedure is slightly different if you are using earlier versions of Windows Server Operating System. So I'm going to go for system here in the Windows settings and then look for remote desktop, right? I'm going to turn on remote desktop and go for enable remote desktop and then click Confirm, right? Once I turn on remote desktop, we can perform a remote desktop session from this machine over here to over here, right? So let's try it and see. I'm gonna to go to this Windows 11 machine here and then click Start and look for remote desktop. So I'll launch the remote desktop connection application and then I need to enter the server IP, right? From this section, you can tell the server IP is 10.0.0.1. So I'm going to type in here 10.0.0.1 and go for connect. Okay, so it's asking for credential on that machine. It looks as if it's using the username here on the system. We don't want to use that. There is a different username on this machine that we're going to use to connect. Let's see. There's an admin account over here. This is what we want to use. So I'm going to click on more choices over here and then click on use a different account. Right. So I'll type administrator with a password of this Windows server over here. So let's do it. Click on password, 
and put in my admin password. I'm going to click OK here to initiate my remote desktop connection. OK, I'm over here. So I'm going to click on more options here, use a different account and retype the user. Okay, so I'll type the password here and go for the OK button again. OK, now it tells us the connection is about to be established and we need to just accept this certificate. So I'm going to click here, see here to initiate my first remote desktop connection to this server right let me hide this as you can see we are on the windows server 2022 machine this is a normal remote desktop connection that we usually do right but the problem here is that if you attempt initiating a second remote desktop connection to this server it's going to log it out it's going to log out this one Okay, so we have the first remote desktop connections done from this very machine over here, which is 10.0.0.3 to 10.0.0.1, right? When we attempt performing another remote desktop connection to 10.0.0.1, which is this cell over here from this end, it's going to lock this guy out, right? That is what we want to fix. Okay, so I'm going to attempt performing a second remote desktop connection to that same system by launching my remote desktop application here. Type remote. I'm going to click on this to open the remote desktop connection app and then type the same IP address over here 10.0.0.1. And then when I try connecting, it gives me a credential prompt again. I'm going to type administrator, the same credential, and then look what happens when we get in here. So I'm going to accept this certificate here by clicking yes. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the connection works, but let's have a look at this one. Look what happens here on the previous connection. It says you have been disconnected because another connection was made to the remote computer. So why is this happening? Why can't we perform multiple connections to one server? So here's a fix. Now, we're going to go back to the server and do a couple of configurations over there. There are some group policy settings that we need to adjust. And then additionally, we need to create uh, user accounts for individual sessions. So I'm going to log in here on my server, password. I'm going to go to computer management from administrative tools, launch administrative tools on my server, and then go to computer management. What I need to do here and a computer management is to create unique user accounts for the individual remote desktop connections. So I'm going to right click here and create a new user account. I'm going to call it, uh, let's say, remote user one. And then I'll leave the description alone. Let me just set a password for it and go create. Right. So I need two user accounts. So I'm going to create another user account. So I'm going to call this second one remote user. To, I'm going to create the second user account and click close. Right now, this user account over here, we need to add them to the remote desktop users group. Right, so this is what I'm going to do currently. When I go to the properties of this user account, you see that it's a member of just the users group. You can use these options over here. Just click add and add this particular user to the remote desktop users group. But this is another way. So let me show you that other way around. When you get into the settings of your Windows operating system and you get to the remote desktop option over here, when you scroll down, you see that we have select users that can remotely access this PC, right? So we're going to add these two new users. We have remote, we click check names. Oh no, not this one. <laughs> I'm going to click advance here and click find now. There are two users that we want to add the remote user one and remote user two, right? You can do it one after the other. You can highlight the both and then go OK to add all of them. So I'll go OK here, go OK here. These two users have been added as remote desktop users, right? So let's check something real quick. I'm going to go to computer management one more time. Let's have a look at what has changed for these users. Can 
going to open computer management one more time and let's have a look at something i'm going to go to users node double click the user one and go to member of as you can see it's now a member of the remote desktop users group double click this one remote desktop users this is how it's supposed to be and you can use this option over here to add them manually if you want right but i prefer the other way around so this is the first step you need to create two user accounts for the various sessions and then add them to the remote desktop users group once you're done with that the rest is group policy so i'm going to press on my window key plus r here to launch the group policy object editor by typing gp edit dot msc right launch gp edit dot msc by clicking ok here once the local group policy object editor is launched you need to go to computer configuration in the computer configuration you find administrative templates you expand administrative templates and look for windows component and then you scroll to the arrow column to look for remote desktop services right now once you expand the remote desktop services node you see we have an option here for remote desktop session hosts and under it we have connections right once you click on this node i'm going to sort this vertically by clicking here you see that we have this option over here which says restrict remote desktop services users to a single remote desktop service session this is what is causing the problem so i'm going to double click this one over here and then disable it so i'm going to disable this first go ok and then i'm going to open up i'm going to open this very option over here limit the number of connections by double clicking and then you can get a chance to enable and then set the number of remote desktop connections you want to allow to this server right so if you want 10 connections to be done at a time to this server you do that okay i'm going to set my maximum to five and go apply okay all right now once this is done you can perform a restart for the group policy settings to apply or you can use this command to force apply this particular group policy setting right now you can do that by running gp update space four slash force this command over here is going to force the group policy settings that we just changed to apply immediately so i'll click ok here and allow this one to complete Right, it shows that everything is done successfully. The update was done successfully. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my client and we're going to initiate two sessions to this server at the same time. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to launch my remote desktop connection tool by clicking on start here and type in remote. Okay, so I'm going to launch my remote desktop connection tool here by clicking on remote desktop connection. And I'm going to reinitiate the remote desktop connection to 10.0.0.1, which is my server. Okay, so it's asking for credential, but you remember we created two separate user accounts for these connections. So I'm not going to use the administrator anymore. I'm going to click on more choices here and then go for use a different account. You remember the user account? We had the first user account to be remote user one and then type my password i'm gonna click ok here gives me a certificate to accept i'm gonna click yes here okay so the first connection to our 10.0.0.1 windows server 2022 machine has been established Okay, so the first connection is true. Everything looks good here. I'm gonna perform the second connection from my second Windows 11 OS to that same server. Right. I'll click start. 
and then type remote to launch my remote desktop connection too and then I'm going to be I'm going to initiate a second connection you can change the username here by expanding this code I'm going to change it here to remote user 2 it's also another way remote user 2 so we use remote user 1 to connect this one we are using remote user 2 to connect this one to the same server I'm going to click connect here asking for a password I'm going to type my password for remote user 2 and then go it's asking us to accept this certificate I'm going to go yes here to accept remote user 2 is connecting saying okay okay we're going to disconnect the administrator because remote user 1 is this guy over here we don't want to disconnect that guy, so I'm going to disconnect the administrator. Okay, so it looks like everything is working fine here. We have our second connection to the Windows Server 2022 machine. Right, this is connected to 10.0.0.1. This one is also connected to 10.0.0.1. It didn't disconnect any of these. So you can do this with as many computers as you want. It all depends on your computing power. Uh, this thing is very, very demanding when it comes to RAM and CPU. So if you want to do the same thing, or you think if you want to do it with more computers, you just need to make sure that the server that is going to be uh, having the multiple models of connections has enough RAM and CPU. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, kindly subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.